Hello my friends, how are you doing? Did you ever wonder why your photos look like everyday snapshots and on the internet you have these artistic expressive photos? Well, the reason might be because you're using too many colors. So in this video, I will show you a lot of secret sauce on how to edit your photos more expressive. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Let's start with our original picture and first of all, look at it, analyze it a little bit. So you can see there's a lot of stuff going on. It is very noisy. It is really hard to concentrate on our cowboy and his bull, specifically because there is so many colors and contrast and vibrance going on in the background. You can see here we have some green and some blue and some pink and some violet all these kinds of colors. So how are we going to reduce that? Now, first of all, what I want to do here is to create an adjustment for HSL. And I will reduce, when you look at this, all the green colors and all the blue colors. So we are mainly left with these red and pink colors, maybe a little bit of yellow. Now you might say, well, yes, but this isn't what I have seen when I shot the photo. That might be true, but a photo is an artistic expression. So think not so much about what you have seen and more about what you want to show with the photo, because that is what most photos are about. So what is the feeling? What is the expression? What is the action that is going on that you want to convey to the viewer? So now that we have created our HSL adjustment, you see this row of dots down here. This is where you can define which colors you want to affect. So like I said, I want to affect the green and blue colors. So I'm going to click on the green here and you can see we have these four gray dots. This is where we adjust the color range of what we want to affect. So I will move this up here. This is the starting point and this is the end point of this side of the influence area and then over here I will move this into the yellow area because a lot of green that we find a lot of foliage in the nature also have yellow tones in it as you can see back here with this tree. So now that we have done this simply reduce the saturation and you can see that this turned now black and white also the bright blue shirt over here of this guy now is gray. So this takes away a lot of the noise in the background and already the picture looks more focused. Now here are some additional things I want to do to reduce the noise in the background and have more focus on the foreground. I want to reduce the saturation of the background, the contrast and brightness of the background and the sharpness of the background all to get more focus on our cowboy and the bull. So the way I'm doing this is I'm using my selection brush to select the cowboy and the bull and then invert the selection and turn it into a mask by clicking down here on the mask icon. I've shown you a lot of times how to use that. Also look at this video that I've created about how to use the selection brush. So here we have our mask as you can see. And the first thing I want to do is to create an adjustment for vibrance. This will help us to reduce the vibrance of the background. Now that I've created that with this vibrance layer selected, I will press Ctrl G on my keyboard to create a group like so. And now I can use the mask to move it inside of the group and turn it on. So this will affect all of the other layers I will put inside of that group. Open up the vibrance adjustment again. And now we can reduce the vibrance. So move this over here and you can see now that this will reduce the vibrance of all these pink tones and other tones in the background and make it again less noisy. Here's the next step. Like I said, let's have a little bit less contrast and brightness in the background. For that, I'm simply going to use an adjustment for curves. So here is what I want to do. I don't want the black values to be completely black and I don't want the white values to be completely white because both of them can take a lot of attention away from our foreground. So grab this point down here. This is the darkest part of the image and move this upward a little bit. 
and then use this dot up here. This is the brightest part of your image and move that down a little bit. So this means no part of the background can be completely white or completely black. Next thing is I will click here in the middle and move this a little bit down to make my background also darker. And what you can see now is because we have done this, the foreground now is more vibrant, more bright and has more contrast. So it takes up a lot more of our attention. But to make this even more effective, I want the background to be a little bit blurry. So what I'm going to do here is to use the live filter Gaussian blur. And then as you can see, it's still in the group. I will click on preserve alpha because if I don't do that, you can see here, if I click here, this will have these ugly glowing edges around my image. I don't want that. So let's click here on preserve alpha, move it up a little bit like this. So the background is blurred, but at the same time, we can still see what is going on. Here are some adjustments I want to do to all of the picture. So let's go out of the group here and then create an adjustment layer for brightness and contrast that is outside of the group. So it's affecting all of the image. So what I want to do here is to give everything in the image a little bit more contrast, just to have a little bit more attention and then also reduce the brightness of my image a little bit on everything in the image like so. Now here is the last step that I want to do, and that is to make everything in the picture a little bit warmer. So for that, I'm going to create an adjustment for white balance. And then I'm simply moving this top slider here a little bit to the right, because this will warm up the image as you can see. So let's compare our result to the original image. And you can see here, this is nice, but it's very noisy. And here we have a picture that is very focused and actually tells a story. Thank you very much for watching. If you like that video, maybe subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so you get notified. Leave a nice comment, leave a like, and also maybe join my Facebook group. We have a beautiful community that is very helpful and you can share your edits and ask questions. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye.